Hey guys, Zixa here, and we're gonna start a playing Earthbound again. Sorry if the volume's a little low this time around. It's it's towards the night time, and I don't really don't want to wake anybody up. Anyway, when we last left off, we got the key to the traveling entertainer shack, and we were about to go. Um, we're about to go to Giant Step. So yeah, when you get the Giant Step, you have to follow this pass in order to get the Giant Step. Giant Step. North at the top of the mountain. Danger. Do not enter. You can't tell me what to do, sign. Who the heck do you think you are? I heard there's a big footprint at the hill, behind the hill of the shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Oh, yeah, it's there. The shack was locked up by somebody at City Hall. We can't use it. The reason it was closed because a, a punk named Frank may have crashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes. And hotels are too expensive. Ain't that the truth? Well, if you go up here... Well, you can't really see giant step that well over there, but you can kind of like, uh, you, uh, I want to show giant step. I want to be cheap. Anyway, let's stall. Let's quit stalling. <laughs> 69 damage. <laughs> it's a sex pun. At least I got a cookie from that. Ooh. Sorry about that phone acting up near computer. Anyway. Let's go up here. The door is locked. But if we use the key to the shack, the door will be open. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, dang it. I forgot about the... Wow, you opened the door. All right. Here's a trinket for good luck. It's the travel charm. That's got the travel charm. What you want to do is equip that. It does absolutely nothing. I'm serious. There's really no point in equipping it. But it's just a nice little trinket. We are Giant Step Cave. First enemy you'll encounter is Rowdy Mice. They get they have a lot of guts. So they have a lot of guts and not a lot of regular attack. So they usually get smashes often, like right there. So expect when you fight them, expect to get a lot of smashes. Level 34, I mean 34 XP, level 7. Yay! I want to make it to at least level 10 before I fight the boss of this area. So, yeah. Let's go. Take out this rowdy mouse. Smash. Oh, uh, don't start missing. Smash. 23. Come on, we need to do more damage. Uh, I should heal up. Haha! -ha. I smashed your smash, sir, so you got smashed in the smash. Okay. Okay, let's eat this cookie, because it's just a waste of space, let's eat this hamburger, only 45, mm, that's a problem, see that's the antoid, it's a black antoid, excuse me, black antoids can use PSI, but they're not really not that big of a challenge, 37, nice, what's in here? Skip sandwich. Hmm, first instance of a skip sandwich. Basically, you get to run really fast for like a minute, I believe. See? Look at that. And you can outspeed enemies if you do this. Fighting attack. Smash. Oh, no smash. But he, he dang sure got a smash on me. That's fair. 22 damage. Nice. 34 XP. Look at Ness go. Look at those little energetic boy legs go. Rowdy Mouse. There's another enemy in here called uh, Attack Slug. They usually travel in packs. We'll get to that in a minute. Look at those little legs go. Go on. Little legs stop. Uh -huh. Antoid. Or it could be an attack slug. Sometimes they'll travel by themselves, but not likely. See, he used life up. Um, they do quite a bit of damage, but they go down usually in two hits at this point. Depending on how your stats have came along. Alright. 
walk up here. Here we go, attack slugs. Usually you can tell when you're about to fight an attack slug when you see at least groups of three or four. They go down in one hit. They do the two to three damage. And they can use PSI. Now the longer you stay in battle, the more PSI, the more able they are to concentrate. Pretty much. See, like right now, he's the uh, attack slug D is going to be able to concentrate. Oh, he didn't. Well, he just made a monkey out of me. And they also can sometimes drop bombs. That, that's extremely rare. But if you do come across a bomb, make sure you save it for the final boss. Alright, what are these two, you know, two black antoids? Uh, oh, I might die here. Alright, let's... Life up. Yeah, it went first. Okay, oh, they can... Ooh, smash. Hamburger. Come on, get him before them. Dang. This is for smashing me. Yeah, they can also call for help. I forgot about that. Black guys always see during the party. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, and he healed himself when he healed his buddy that just came. Die. Twelve. Come on, stop it. And that's all. Oh baby, offense went up by four. Oh, speed went up by one. Oh baby, Gus went up by three. Luck went up by one. Max HP went up by three. Max HP went up by two. Yes, I learned PSI power. PSI power. PSI power. Uh, I would show off PSI power. Uh, yeah, I'll show it off. PSI power. PK power. Power, 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 power. Douche. Dance. It does around about 50 to 100 damage to each enemy. Sometimes enemies can be resistant to this damage. But that's very unlikely. And this power cannot go through shields. Fighting attack, he missed. Sweet. Oh, he didn't miss that one, of course. 31. Nice. Okay, let's keep on trucking. What's in here? Uh, two rowdy mice. Alright, let's hit that one. Alright, keep on doing me keep on doing meager damage. Oh, I said meager damage, not smashing damage. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Come on. Die. Yay, I won. He used to be saying that a lot. It's, it's a force of habit. Alright, let's eat that burger. Cold remedy. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Should I? Nah, they be alright. Alright, let's go over this way. And I think there's a treasure over here. Hold on. I mean, a present. Oh, wait, it wasn't. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it, folks? Up here in this little area right here, uh, um, a butterfly will always spawn. Mm. Yeah, let me use it. Might as well. Wee! And there's giant step. There's a big footprint in the ground. All right. Am I ready? Yep, I'm ready. Here you go. Uh, just a regular little black antoid. Oh, right there. The game can recognize if you're stronger than an enemy and you have a 100% chance of beating it in the first turn, and it will happen. See, watch. The game recognized that uh, I am clearly will, will kick that little ant's ass, and basically they just said, screw it, you win. Forget it, and you still get experience. So the game doesn't waste your time with level grinding and use with unnecessary like pauses. But anyway, here's the boss. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. 